Okay. A flight of the. Um, Where's your other hover? She went to the, the, um, went to the concert last night. What's that? Before we begin, I'm going to turn this over to Randy Wells, who has uh, something he'd like to read. Good evening, folks. I'm Randy Wells. I'm a member of the uh, Great River Honor Flight Escort Squadron. I met the bus at Holy Green and escorted them back here. We had 163 bikes. I met them at Holy Green and five bikes escorted them all the way back from St. Louis. On behalf of all the bikers, I would like to give the vets tonight a little remembrance of this day. What I have here, we have a star. It's hard to compete with that. We have a star cut out of the retired flag, and these words that speak of the flag and of these veterans. The card reads, I am tattered, torn, and worn, ready to be retired. Now I am a treasure given to you by a grateful nation who honors you for your service and sacrifice. Because of you, I was able to fly over the land of the free. Thank you for your service. I have been saved from the fire by the Great River Honor Flight Escort Squadron. So tonight, we will give one of these to each vet as our thanks for their service and sacrifice. Thank you. Judge, you gotta ask him if they're motivated. <laughs> Alright, you ready? I don't want to get in anybody's way, so you're all good. Thanks, Guardians. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Guardians. Thank you very much, Guardians. We have our great commentator back today. Say these fancy ones are the World War II bikes. Oh, yeah, definitely. Let me get a picture of those. Hold on. Let me get it with this camera. All right, let me put it out there. Those are really good. I can, yeah. Anyway, you want to hold it, don't matter. But those are really nice. And, oh, there you go. Got it. You want to think about it. Here. Grab one of those, put that in your pocket. You know, okay. I told you I'd put all that stuff on YouTube and yeah, everything I, like that. I've you can, it. you can find all that. I just, I got new cards made up the other day, and go well, okay, I do fishing yeah, for freedom, mid America. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> I don't have enough of them. I have to well, what? There's only, there's only four World War II, right? Well, I thought there was five. Next time, there might I be. I, I, you, you could be completely right, but. No offense, I don't think they're going to say too much, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Find the youngest I always, one. <laughs> I always wonder what they do. Do they go home and throw these away? Or I, I didn't. Mine actually goes into my, my daughter. I'm like, nope, you don't get it. Yeah, but I mean the 90-year-olds. They go, oh, okay. I don't know what they're going to do. Right? I, I, I bet you. How many of you had it out now so far? Probably, what, a couple hundred? Yeah. So I bet you anything. Some of them that have gone, I bet you they went into their coffins with them. You know, you can put some things in there. I bet you others go into mementos. Others you go into scrap albums. Feedback, I mean, I don't want the praise for it, but I want to think that somebody would say something. Um, I've got some stuff that. on... Um, I've got some stuff that people say about it. I, I don't about know if you know this. Yeah, about everything. I mean, I've had a little... I've had comments about everything. I'll get you a yeah. comment or something. Yeah, I didn't even... Then that's all my Facebook. Remember, these are more than just YouTube I put them on, so... Yeah. Okay. I love YouTube. That's how I built my kids to the treehouse. Got on YouTube and said, how do I build a wall? <laughs> it showed me. How do I build a roof? And it showed me. That was awesome. I, people actually took, use my gardening. I put my garden plate in crap this year, but the last yeah, couple years... My wife. Yeah, but I got a guy that had... He had a Guinness Book of World Record for the tallest corn in the world. Two rows of flowers. 26 feet. I had mine get at 18. I was pretty happy. Oh, no, I'm big on sweet corn, so... I oh, yeah. I buy it, though. We used to plant it, and then the day before harvest, raccoons would get it. Oh, uh, you know, this year I had problems with? Ground squirrels ate my sunflower bottoms, so they kept falling <laughs> over. And then they started eating onto the corn. I'm like, what the heck is wrong? Yeah. And these are ground... Not ground moles, ground squirrels. We got problems with them this year. We got moles all of a sudden. We had moles last year. We got them this year. Yeah. My neighbor comes running over. 
Jeff, Jeff, I got them all. I guess it was rain, you know, I came out. I'm like, kill it. Yeah. Well, how do you do that? Poison. See, I used to uh, kill potato fork when the water gets up, you know, you get a potato fork out there. Yeah, <laughs> I used to hear my neighbor go, ding! 